This brings back memories from my childhood, when we, as kids, instead of shower, would take 30 minutes long bath until the water would become cold while playing with ducks, boats, submarines, and of course, bath bombs. Back then, bath bombs were something like a small miracle for me. Now, when I'm a bit older, I want to learn how to make them at home. Let's see if we will be able to make one. And then, hand in hand, with bath bombs also go bath scrubs. Let's explore together how to make those as well. Should be fun. What you see laid out on my table right now is the soap and bath bombs kit made by Craft Evolved. It contains just about everything you will need today. Right before making this video, I was exploring the art of making handmade soap. That's what you see in the pink silicone mold. While I'm waiting for the soap to cool off, I thought it would be a good idea to make some bath bombs. The first ingredient we will be using is citric acid. Take one full spoon of citric acid and place it into the mixing bowl. Then add one full spoon of bath salt. Next, add two spoons of baking soda. This kit comes with baking soda of two colors, yellow and blue. They are both the same, the only difference between them is color. For this activity, let's use a yellow color. Then, add two spoons of cornstarch. Next, add 5 to 10 drops of essential oil of your choice. The kit comes with 5 different essential oils, so plenty to choose from. This time, I have decided to go with vanilla essential oil, but you may choose any one you like. Next, 
we are going to add 10 milliliters of vegetable oil. Later, we will add 1 milliliter of water. What I would like to highlight here is that one of the main components of the mixture is baking soda. And as we know, baking soda reacts quite quickly with water. On the other hand, the reaction is not triggered when baking soda gets in touch with vegetable oil. I will be measuring the amount of liquid using a pipette, which is included in this kit. Makes it much easier to be very precise. The pipette can hold up to 3 milliliters of liquid, so I need to fill it up a few times to get 10 milliliters of vegetable oil into the mixture. Now, we are getting to the tricky part of this process, which is adding water to the mixture. It is important to note that once you add even 1 milliliter of water into the mixture, the water may start a reaction with baking soda right away. For that reason, stir the mixture with the wooden spoon immediately after you add water. The wooden spoon is part of the bundle as well. For a second I'm thinking that maybe mixing the mixture with hand will be easier but I quickly realized it was not a good idea. Keep stirring the mixture until the mixture will have a consistent amount of moisture. That will allow the mixture to be used with molds and keep its shape when taking the bath bombs out of the mold. If the mixture is too dry, the bath bomb will behave like sand when you try to take it out of the mold, which means it will collapse in your hand. However, if the mixture is too wet, it will trigger off the baking soda. So what should you do? I think this is the place where experience comes in. You have to try and see. Trial and error is the only way how to get this process right. It was the same for me and I still feel I have a great space for improvement when it comes to this specific activity. If the mixture is still too dry, add additional water in 1 ml increments. Okay. 
Now, you understand that the bath bomb will get activated when it comes in contact with water or even moisture. That's why it is always recommended to use rubber gloves when making bath bombs. The rubber gloves will prevent the sweat and oils from your hands to get in contact with bath bombs and activate them before you throw them into the bathtub. I would like to also mention that during this work I'm following instructions from the ebook which is also part of this Craft Evolved bundle. Once we can see that the mixture is capable to hold its shape due to the added moisture, you will put the mixture into the white hard plastic mold and press it tightly with your thumb. Then let it rest for about 15 minutes. As I'm pressing with my thumb on the mixture, the mixture is slowly sinking in, getting pushed down. I think I will need a little bit more. From the mixture left over, we will try now to make a bath bomb using the ball mold. Pack each half of the plastic bath bomb mold with the mixture so they overflow. Then press the mold halves together firmly. I have a feeling I'm not placing enough mixture into the mold, but I guess I will find out in a few minutes. Ok, here's a little secret, this is the very first bath bomb I'm making in my life, can you tell? This part here will definitely test your patience, but I'm pretty sure with a little bit of experience you will eventually get it right.
Once you manage to close the mold, let it rest for about 30 minutes, then slowly open it. Oh bummer! This one didn't work out as I hoped. It is expected for the first time you will get the same result as me. But do not give up. Just keep trying until you get it right by finding the correct balance of moisture, which will cause the bath bomb to hold its shape and not to collapse. Also, don't be afraid to press it tightly in order to close the mold. Both sides need to overflow a bit in order to be able to form a ball. And this is the mistake I made this time. My mold halves did not overflow, I simply did not put there enough mixture. I am adding additional vegetable oil and water to the mixture and trying my luck for the second time. Stir the mixture again and let's hope the shape will hold this time. Now, learned from my previous mistake, I am loading up the mold halves properly and trying to press them tightly together again. Once you close the mold, you need to wait for an additional 30 minutes before opening it up. And here is again the part which I like so much. Just patience, you will get it right eventually. And while we are waiting for those long 30 minutes, please hit that like button to support our channel. It would really help us out. Thank you. All right, let's take a look if the second attempt will fail again, or this time we got it right. Oh my goodness, I hold it carefully as if it was a real atomic bomb. A small tap on the back of the mold and let's see if it will come out. Mm -hmm. 
Nice, this time it worked out. A perfect ball. The key is to keep trying and don't give up. Okay, now let's check out our bath bombs in the white plastic mold. Tap the back of the mold gently to take the bath bomb out of the mold. If the bath bomb breaks when you try to take it out, that most likely means the mixture needs additional moisture and you have to repeat the process again. Luckily for us, the bath bomb does not collapse. As we can see here, the bath bomb from the white plastic mold is much easier to make even with a smaller amount of the moisture compared to the ball bath bomb. Now let's do together salt scrub. This activity will be very relaxing because it's very easy and straightforward. Put about 10 milliliters of water into the white measuring cup and add one or two drops of the coloring of your choice. I'm going with red coloring, but you can choose any coloring out of five which are available in the bundle. Measure two full spoons of crystallized sea salt into the mixing bowl and add two to five drops of essential oil of your choice into the mixture. I have decided to go with vanilla this time. Then add about 5 to 10 drops of diluted coloring. Using the pipette makes the whole process so much easier. Once you added the essential oil and the coloring, mix everything with your hand and we are done. A salt scrub is ready to be used directly from the mixing bowl. You can apply it on your skin and scrub it gently. Or put the salt scrub into the bathtub. After the salt is dissolved in the water, you can enjoy the salt bath. I hope you have enjoyed this video and perhaps have learned something new today. I definitely did. But before you go, Let's test out the bath bombs. Looks like we did everything correctly and the bath bombs are working just like the ones I remember from my childhood. I wish you lots of fun when making bath bombs at home and I would really appreciate it if you could take a moment and post a picture of them on my Facebook page. There I can comment on them and have with you one-on-one -on -one conversation. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.